Yo, spooky man. <laughs> Are you saying no because I'm streaming Smash, or what? Or just because of the Pokemon Sword and Shield controversy? Austin, it's my boy. Oh shit, it's like a noticeable input lag through the CD. I should be fine though. He just said no for no reason. I guess that's fair. Also, why did your uh, freaking username change in like an instant? Also, the game comes out for like in like six minutes, so I'm probably just gonna do like two matches of Smash. Maybe just this one if it takes long enough. Oh, I hope we don't lag. Okay. Oh, please don't lie. Great. I really don't like lying. Here, I'm gonna freaking close the stream on my phone. It's probably lagging it more. There we go. Actually, it's a backer. I have no idea how I got up smash. <laughs> Can I up or down view? Probably at this percent, honestly. I think Yoshi is kind of heavy, though. There we go. Oh, I really thought I was gonna get a grab out of that. Oh well, down smash works. You would play if you could, but Nintendo Switch Online, that sucks. It's not that bad, you could just get $7 for like a 3 month membership or something. But, I mean, I get it, it might not be like worth it to you or whatever. And Smash Online kinda sucks anyway. I mean, I need it to practice if I want to be a competitive player, because I live too far away from locals. But, um... If I could play offline, like, every day, I might not bother playing Smash on Wi-Fi. Aside from just, like, playing people who I really could not play otherwise. Yoshi is pretty good right now. Oh, we've been practicing. If that were Pichu's side B, you would be dead. Oh, yeah, not gonna kill. That will, though. Or not. <laughs> Freaking Yoshi. It's kinda heavy. Fishing for a dash attack now. Oh yeah, I forgot his like up air could kill me right now. There we go. Uh, Yoshi's freaking down air can actually kill, which is pretty insane. It launches you straight upwards if uh, he hits like the last hit of it. And I've been killed by it before. Usually you can SDI out before then. It's like really hard for Yoshi to actually hit every hit of it, but it, it happens sometimes. It's like the one like co Pikachu combo I can do very consistently. I really need to work on my Pikachu. My Pichu is still better. He just has like I, I'm way better at uh, his combos. Oof. All right. Ooh, I could 
killed if I was like an inch further. Ah, oh, it did not hit. That did though. Will that kill? Nah. Dang. Really uncomfortable with how close this is. GG, wow. That was close. And also the game is gonna come out in like a minute. <laughs> GG Austin, you've gotten really good with Yoshi. You like almost had that. Jeez, oh, the stream is actually still freaking running on my phone. That's just great. Alright, the game is probably playable right now. Or like within like 60 seconds. So, let's see. Hopefully, my dog doesn't like wake up a whole ton and bother me. Uh, uh, for those of you who don't know, I got a new dog. Actually, why, why am I even saying stuff like that? Like, no one is watching the stream right now. <laughs> I don't know if Austin knows. I don't even know if I've mentioned like, any of my in real life runs yet. I've only like posted about it on Twitter. Okay, the stream like completely died for a second. That, that was awesome. Just, just great. <laughs> really? Okay, I really hope I don't have to wait till midnight because then I'm gonna feel pretty stupid for starting it this early. Am I just? Am I just crazy? yet. We probably could have played another match. Unless it doesn't come out for another freaking hour, that would be wonderful. Maybe they finally like decided let's release games an hour later now in the US. <laughs> when Japan's at it for like 12 hours now. Because that's fair. Nope. Still doesn't work. Wow. Okay. Really might not be out yet. Really might take a, a while. It's like mildly disapp- like pretty disappointing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like Smash, Mario Odyssey, um, freaking Splatoon 2 all came out like 11 on the dot basically in my time on the night of release. Maybe it's like based off of- I, I, okay, it's definitely not based off of my Switch's time because <clears throat> it's based off of- uh, the region that you have selected for the eShop. Yo, Matt. I'm just trying to see if I can freaking play Pokemon. It, it doesn't seem like it wants to work. I really thought uh, it, midnight release games came out uh, on, at 11 p.m., like our time, because uh, it was 12 p.m., like, I, f I think, uh, I forget. Because it's like 12 in other places. <clears throat> It's already tomorrow in some places in the United States, so I'm surprised that they're still waiting. Should have got it on an Australian account. You're probably right, but I've heard it's like hell to get eShop credit. And it probably costs extra too, and I like barely had enough money to buy it. <sighs> wow. I guess we might have to wait another hour. Wait? Oh, no. Oh, you know what? Sometimes you can restart your Switch and it works. Stream might die for- nah, the stream is still gonna be up. It's just OBS is gonna be in y'all's face. With like, no signal. <laughs> Anyways, how you doing, Nate? I appreciate you stopping by. Well, it's not tomorrow here. Yeah, but it doesn't it doesn't base it off of your Switch's time, it bases it like off of other stuff. It, there are certain factors. And usually midnight release games come out not at 11 p.m. in our time. It, it wasn't even freaking connected to the internet. Really? Okay, wow, it really is not out yet. Crazy. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Um, 
I wonder if other people are whining on Twitter about it or something. Because I'm, like, curious now. Because, it like, maybe they did just move it up for this game. Like, maybe it just comes out an hour later in the U.S. than usual. A freaking Pokemon... The Pokemon Twitter account just made a tweet about Pokemon Sword and Shield being out. Oh, and here's a guy commenting on the post saying it's not working. Never mind, it's working now. So it seems like the game is out for some people in the United States, and for some it isn't. Like, weird. You watched Alpha Rad play, and it's pretty epic. Yeah, Sword and Shield looked pretty good. Not perfect. Like, I, I definitely agree with a lot of people's criticisms. But honestly, I just want to enjoy the game at this point. Like, it's it's definitely not going to be the worst. It's time, Americans. You can now play Sword and Shield from the eShop. Okay, I was right. It, it definitely comes out at 11. Or was supposed to. And there we go. Just as I thought. Yeah, it's out. It took a minute. It was about 7.05 it came out. Switch your Switch's time zone? Nah, that won't work. It, it depends on where you bought it from the eShop. Okay, this is a decision that's kind of hard, because, like... I kind of like the female protagonist, but, like... I don't know. Which do I pick? Because, like, even if I choose a male one, I can still do a second file. Because the great thing about... Pokemon games on Switch is you can have, you can play them on multiple user files. You haven't got in? Nah, I'm, I'm a score bunny squad. Anyway, male or female, what do you guys think? I kind of want to go for this female skin, that's like my favorite, honestly. Go girl. <laughs> Yeah, what the heck, I'll go to this one. Yeah, Score Bunny is the best, in my opinion. Yeah, I like this. Uh, I used to go male all the time, but like, sometimes the female protagonists just look way better to me. So it, it usually just depends. Like, for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, I definitely played May. For my first two playthroughs, I played male, because also I like Brendan. Also, what? So I've seen stuff about this guy. Welcome, one and all, to the wonderful world of Pokemon. They really could have voice acted this. They really could have voice acted, like, at least a few of the cutscenes. A lot. <laughs> I'm not gonna freaking give the character a female version like That's just stupid. Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Yeah, I really love how, like, the most freaking profitable, profitable video game franchise on the planet does not have voice acting in its games. That's, that's just great. This is kind of reminding me of the intro of Brownie Caterpillar episode 1, where they're just like talking about how great it is. Like, Reptilia. Oh, I get it! This is like the professor scene. Oh, I really don't like that design. I've seen it before because of leaks. So I don't like it. I, I chose male in Let's Go. I wasn't a big fan of the female in Let's Go. And also, like, you weren't even that customizable anyway, so... Because I like, I like changing up the female's outfit and crap. The male protagonist has a dumb hat. Well, yeah, at least you can, like, change, like, everything about your character's appearance in this game. Like, it, it has pretty deep customization, unlike Pokemon Let's Go. Who needs voice acting when you can make their voice? Yes, Pokemon are all- No, that, that definitely would not be his voice. Pokemon are all around us, in the sea. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete- Why is he just saying this in front of a crowd? Yes, I totally did not know what a Pokemon trainer was before this. Yo, it's Amy, holy shit. How you doing? 
being carried away, please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it is a pleasure to be here. I'll turn your gaze to the Galar regions. Greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. Freaking Leon the Bowser main. Second best, first best Bowser worldwide, Leon. Wow, nice graphics. You miss your Let's Go Pikachu? What, did you like sell your copy or something? Oh, like you won't be able to transfer it, that, that sucks. Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end when I beat you today. You know, I don't lose battles. I like how he has a Steel-type Pokemon out against Leon's freaking Charizard. It's just genius. Yeah, I'm at the very beginning. This is like the first scene that plays after you choose your character and name it. Kind of reminds me of the, uh, the video you watch at the beginning of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl about the Red Gyarados. Whoa, it's Lulu. Very popular. The graphics actually are pretty nice. I really don't like Hop. I'm sorry, he's just like worse Hal. Like, I actually liked Hal. I, I don't care that he wasn't like a jerk rival. But Pop, Hop just looks stupid. And he, he even like stole, steals some of Hal's animations, which bothers me. Oh Jesus, it's Godzilla. Wow, I sure do love playing Flappy Bird on my iPhone. Get the fuck out, Hop. I'm playing Pokemon Go. Is that your flash new phone? What? Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? No, I was watching freaking porn. Uh, screw no, no, November. Frick you. <laughs> you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. I'm not gonna cheer him on, I'm gonna kick his ass. Oh, hey, is that my mom? Hop, oh, didn't expect to see you today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get AT46. He took your Lunchables. Never mind, watching the match now. I've got it recorded at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Come with me, AT46. He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Yo, Bonnie, what's up? Uh, if any of you guys also have Pokemon Sword or Shield, we can battle or trade, like, later on during the stream, because I'll probably stream for, like, two or three hours. I'll, pro I'll, I'll probably try to do, like, the first gym or whatever before I end the stream, and I'll probably play more off-stream. But I definitely would battle you guys. Frick. You knew I had to do this immediately. Oh. Munchlax. Controlling the character feels nice, and I like like the animation of the hair and stuff. There are also books and magazines about Pokemon. It's a television that Mom uses to watch her comedy dramas. It's not your mom, Alan, it's your mom. You're right, you're right, I'm sorry. Freaking jump him. Yeah, I'm gonna jump Leon and Hawk. I'm just gonna beat the crap out of both of them. Don't at me, I actually like Pokemon Sun and Moon. I did too, I just didn't like Ultra Sun and Moon. They like ruined the story. It really did not enough new content. They were like straight up bad Pokemon games. But Sun and Moon were good. They had like the best stories I think of any Pokemon games, except maybe Black and White. The fridge is filled with food your family likes. You can move the camera, but like only in like wild areas and stuff. Like I can't move the camera here. Why is she designed like that? I mean, I guess it isn't a bad design. It's definitely gonna be freaking Rule 34 of her, but you know. Hey, finally a Pokemon game where you don't start off in your room, right? Or like in a moving van. I kind of wish this had a real-time lighting engine. It doesn't seem like it does. You cast a shadow on everything, but I don't know if everything casts a shadow on you. Oh, look! Wait, 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 wait a minute. The Switch in your room, the Joy-Cons are supposed to be the same colors as the Joy-Cons on your Switch. Hold on. Or maybe it's like the Joy-Cons that you're playing the game with? I gotta, I gotta check, test it out. I'm making fun of Sword and Shield, please laugh. <laughs> I've seen enough hate for it on Twitter, please no. 
Yeah. You better not see any roll three four from me. Well, you're gonna be disappointed. Sorry. Oh no! Come on, change colors, Joy-Con. I believe in you. Aw, oh, is it like only if I play in handheld mode or something? That's disappointing. Imagine like just not playing the game and just focusing on like the Joy-Con colors on the Switch in your room. I wonder what the evolutions are. Uh, do you mind getting spoiled? Because I know. I've actually seen like all of the leaks. Wow, I wish I could sleep instantly. I have freaking like insomnia basically. <laughs> the latest video game console is sitting by the telly. Okay, I get it, you're freaking British. Wow, nice low quality textures on the map. Are there new ones? No. <laughs> no new evolutions, sorry. Uh, another spoiler that you might be happy to hear is that we might actually be getting more Pokemon that aren't in the Galarian decks, which they said would not happen. But there are actually 30 Pokemon that are in the game's code, but are not in the Galarian decks, that it seems like they're going to introduce to the game over time through, like, raids and events. There are a bunch of legendaries from Gen 5 and Gen 7, and starters that are not Charmander or Sobble, Scorbunny, and uh, Grookey that you can get later, that we will probably be able to get later on. They can be hacked into the game, but there's no way to catch them naturally right now. Yeah, so they probably will be adding new Pokemon to the game over time, which is re a relief, but I wouldn't completely count on it. It might just be those 30 Pokemon that uh, are in the game's code, but not in the Galarian decks. Oh yeah, you're right! Evolutions are supposed to come every numbered gen. Well, again, it's like I said, maybe maybe like the Gen 4 remakes will have them, or maybe they will actually introduce new Pokemon over time. So I already have freaking Rotom on my phone. Okay, the region is actually pretty big. It seems. It, it's pretty big. Maybe it's just because that, that map is so zoomed in. Can I zoom out? No, it seems like I can't even zoom out. Remember the AZ Floet? It's been 9,000 years. Or was it 5,000 years? I don't remember. <laughs> it's that one game the community is having a petty argument about. Yeah, honestly, from what I've seen, I don't think these games are worse than X and Y. I think X and Y are definitely the worst Pokemon games so far. I think, I think these are at least better than that. And probably... These are probably at least, like, run-of-the-mill level. Oh, it's a Budu. Very Gen 4. Very cool. Okay, I'm pretty sure you don't understand how, like, mass works. Wow, what HM do I need to get past this? <laughs> Me with my dog, freaking Cody, when he tries to jump over the fence. Oh yeah, ne uh, Austin, did you hear I got a new dog? We, we uh, got a dog from the dog shelter. His name is Cody, and he's a six-year-old uh, German Shepherd and Alaskan Malamute mix. So he's like pretty big, and he's like really cute. But he likes to jump the fence in the backyard and run out into the street, which is super annoying. But we don't have to keep in the, him in the crate like Daisy. He's like pretty calm indoors, so we let him out in the living. We we let him loose in the living room all day. Yeah, I got a new dog. I posted pictures of him on Twitter if you want to go see. Really? You freaking cheater. I hate you, Hop. You suck. You're actually my least favorite like, rival. Um, Y and Black are some of the better ones. Let's Go and Moon are bad. I'm gonna have to disagree with you there. My favorites are, um, freaking Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, which is controversial. Um, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Diamond and Pearl, um, Emerald, but probably just because it's nostalgic to me. Um, 
and then black and white, which has kind of grown on me over time. Oh yeah, apparently like the X and Y sort of like easy online communication is back, which I'm really happy about. It definitely won't be as like quite as like convenient as just having like any online features available like right from the main game on your touchscreen, but it's still way better than the freaking Festival Plaza. Like the Festival Plaza sucked. I hated it. Yeah, I got another dog. Oh, uh, Daisy and Cody get along pretty well. Daisy's always wanted a another dog to spend time with. Like, she really loves other dogs. And they seem to like each other. Cody isn't as energetic as Daisy, or as crazy, but, like, they play together and it's fine. I think sometimes Daisy gets on his nerves, but, like, they don't, they don't like, fight or anything. They just, like, growl and, like, play bite. <laughs> I'm glad you agree that Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are good, Matt, because a lot of people like say those are some of the worst, and I don't really get why. Black and White have the worst anime? Or Black and Moon have the worst anime? From what I've seen, Sun and Moon looks like one of the best animes, and Black and White, I agree, were pretty bad, because Ash, like, sucked, and Irish, Iris was kind of annoying. Anyway, I need to stop freaking talking, I want to play the game. <laughs> Hopefully Hop grows on me, because right now I kind of hate him. <laughs> Straight up dog wolves. A barbecue? Is that a popular thing in Europe? I thought that was more of like an American thing. Yeah, Sun and Moon I think has one of the best animes, although I haven't watched like a whole lot of it. The only anime that I've watched pretty much most of the way through are the Gen 1, Gen 2, Orange Islands, uh, and Gen 4. Yeah, pretty much just those, and a lot of Gen 6. This is nice. It kind of suggests Leon's probably been on like a lot of adventures. He has a lot of hats. You just can't do the Moon Ash voice, it just doesn't feel a Pokemon. I like how Hop's room is more of that of like a fan of Pokemon, and Leon is like that of like a Pokemon master. Or he just looks like someone who collects expensive hats, I don't know. Yeah, Hop, he kinda does look like a Pokemon, like he looks like a throwaway character. Hop <laughs> looks like a turd in blue whip whipped cream. You've watched it all besides Sun and Moon? I like how Sun and Moon changed things up a little bit though. I think that's what makes it special. What if I run into a Pokemon on purpose? I'm gonna do that. <laughs> If you give me the opportunity to do that, I'm literally gonna do it. Huh? Seriously? How is he physically stopping me just by talking? Like, I can continue running, right? Wow, guys, look at all the terrible graphical popping. This game sucks. Zero out of ten. Look, 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 look at that. You can see, like, the shadows becoming higher quality as you come closer to them. That's definitely not a feature in any other game I've ever played before. That makes sense. Culling definitely does not exist anywhere else. I need to turn, that, turn this up. I actually like the music in this town. Guzma is my dad. I thought I was your father. Wedgehurst. It's a silly name for a town, though. I'm actually gonna kick this dude's butt in like 30 hours, so yeah, I hope you guys gather around me like that. Wow, frame rate drops. It doesn't really matter in a cutscene though. When you have like a level 100 Charizard, so you're actually like the god of the Pokemon world. 
Yeah, yeah. Sword and Shield are actually like the end of Pokemon. Like, I don't think they're gonna continue. I think Pokemon is gonna go bankrupt, guys. Totally, completely, 100%. See, good. Thank you, Amy. Respect your elders. Back in my day, we had to walk 100 miles up Mount Everest to get to school. Whippersnapper. Shut up, Boomer. <laughs> Okay, Boomer. It's you true that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the cha gym challenge and come battle me. I bet Austin is already, like, way further than me, because I'm just, like, taking forever. Shut up, Charizard, you're gay. But we accept you. It's okay. Wow, he actually freaking calls his brother a fan. That's terrible. I like how he has all his sponsors on his cape. Oh, I actually do the same freaking pose and I spin. Wow. Only boomer. Say okay, boomer. <laughs> Respect your elders five seconds later. Shut up, boomer. Since when have I been consistent? Back in my, back in my day, we didn't have heads on. We had to jerk off to billy goats. What the frick? Why did I even say that? Come on, Lee, you promised us a present, so out with it. You brought 1846 and me a Pokemon, you did, didn't you? Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Yeah, that's kind of disrespectful to call your brother a fan. Stupid. Yes. Eh. Maybe on another playthrough. Imagine having swag to the point of wearing a cape. Guys, look at that tree. That's totally Nintendo 64 quality. I do like the animation and the cutscenes. It's pretty nice. Dude, he just freaking let them out of their Pokeball and they're already, like, doing stuff. They're like, freaking... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine having lip syncing but no voice acting. Oops. Nah, I think Saul was the second best. If I wasn't like, if I kind of didn't hate Saul's final evolution as much, I might pick him. You know what? I don't need a freaking Pokemon. I'm just gonna, like, beat the crap out of wild Pokemon by... Dang it. <laughs> okay, give me my score bunny. Would they be shiny, like, already? So, like, if you were shiny resetting to get a shiny starter, like, would you, like, see them shiny in the initial cutscene? Oh, I should've freaking saved. Oh, I didn't even give it a nickname. What, Ness? I mean, what freaking awesome? They're shiny locked? No. Aw, oh, poor Sobble. At least you have a type advantage against him. <laughs> I should have nicknamed him Daddy, what the hell? Great, three more mouths to feed. Frick you, Charizard. 
That's a big freaking like shish kebab. I, I can still change his name though. The next day, I spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting all, on all right? Understanding one another? <laughs> Okay, yeah, give it like three days and I'll be beating you, okay? I mean, at least Hop has like somewhat of a competitive spirit, I guess. Alright, I'll see you later, Matt. You, tro you chose the tricks, Rabbit. That really what it is. It, that really is what it is, honestly. Hot kind of gay. Not gonna lie. Sorry to disappoint you, Hop, but... That's cheating! Um, seriously? Just tackle and growl? I'm just going to try to take Wulu out as quick as possible. I do like that attack animation. Ooh, a critical hit, nice. <laughs> How'd you actually know? Alright, bye Wulu, you suck. I mean, it's cute, but I'm just not that big of a fan. The animation really isn't bad. Like, I get that they recycled animation for old Pokemon that were already in the game, or already in Sun and Moon and X and Y, but like, the animation for the new Pokemon is at least pretty good. <clears throat> Alright, might wanna- oh, okay, I have Ember now, you're fricked. Who needs stat changing moves when you can just kill him in two hits? Okay, honestly, who doesn't know about type advantages? Like, wouldn't they teach that stuff in, like, preschool? You hate Wulu? I just think it's, like, slightly overrated. I don't have an issue with it or anything. I mean, it's cute, but... It is kind of just a generic sheep. Uh, Mareep is a lot better. In my opinion, at least. You you're fair. You're, you're free to believe whatever you want. Oh, so Mareep is one of your favorite Pokemon, I suppose? Okay, really? Like, your level 100 Charizard? Actually, he's probably like level 70 or something, because, you know... Ampharos is your favorite Pokemon, but the evolutionary line is amazing. I agree, it's a, it's a pretty good one. Also, I just have a soft spot for Electric-type Pokemon in general. And normal types are generally some of my least favorites. Is it really just that easy to get a Pokedex? Like, okay, I get, like, you get one at the beginning of every Pokemon game, but if you think about it, wouldn't it be a pretty expensive piece of technology?
Do I really have this on my mom? Finally, I did it facing the screen. Your favorite Pokemon is Dratini? Not a bad choice. Y'all know mine is Magnemite, and y'all know he's also cut from this game, so... Depression. At least some of my favorite Pokemon are in, like, Joltik and, uh... Friggin... Uh, Mimikyu... Uh, Chandelier... Look at this old fogey. Okay, Boomer. I was wondering why I didn't see too many trophies in his room. I'm gonna grab a pillow so this chair becomes more comfortable. Yeah, I know. Rest in peace, Magnemite. Hopefully he gets added in later on, if that's possible. Or at least, I think he's like guaranteed if they make Gen 4 remakes, because Magnezone is a Gen 4 Pokemon. So, I mean, at least if they make Diamond and Pearl remakes, I can pretty much count on Magnemite being in it. I like Chandelure, it's pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of the lake incident right at the beginning of Diamond Pearl. We're already committing crimes. We're felons. It's off limits. We're going into private property. We're gonna get shot. Oh wow. Okay, so I'm kind of not a big not a big fan of those uh, that like fog effect. what I can catch here. Oh, I, I hate this design. I hate this guy. Do I have Pokeballs yet? Oh, oh, well, frick. Imagine coming across a shiny this early in the game. Might as well grind. Wow, that really hurt. Yeah, I mean, he's basically like B Doof. Again. Actually, B Doof is way better. What do you have to say, Hop? Oh, cool, he can like heal me like any time. Thanks, Hop, you're actually useful. Why am I not seeing Pokemon in the overworld? Okay, I like this guy. I like this guy. Oh, it's kind of weird that his peoples are like going outside of his eyeballs, though. Not sure how I feel about that. It's kind of like not to. Yeah, I like Zigzagoon. It's one of my favorite like Route 1 Pokemon. I've never actually used it on a team, but like it's it's good. Actually, I think Sentret is one of my like actually my favorite Route One Pokemon, or maybe Lillipop. I don't know. Imagine just like walking into the grassy fields outside of your house and just finding a bunch of like random like freaking stray dogs. Okay, he's not as bad as freaking, um, what's it called? The Donald Trump squirrel from Gen 7. Wow, I sure do love beating up the local wildlife. Setting squirrels on fire, dissolving caterpillars. Very fun. Why tackle and why not like low kick or something? I do like the wild battle theme, but not the trainer ba trainer battle theme as much. I'm really hoping like the Elite Four or like the champions themes are pretty good.
This music is definitely something. This is like the exact same running animation from Sun and Moon. They could have at least mixed that up a little bit. <laughs> Look at this grass in my backyard and finds a monkey. Oh, we're, ac we're actually about to get fricked. Level 100 Machamp. <laughs> Okay. Hi there. Yo, Zacian, how's it going? Oh, okay. Oh, its ear is like chopped off. What the heck? Bro, what happened? And it doesn't even have its sword! Um. Okay. Okay, this is very different, so I like that, honestly. This is not something you would expect to see very early on in a Pokemon game. And this is something I've also not been spoiled on, so... It's basically the ghost from the, uh, from Pokemon Tower. Is Zacian a Steel-type? Because it uses a sword, that would kind of make sense. Wow, thanks for just making it more foggy. That's totally great. And we're dead. GG. Game over. It was fun. I love Pokemon Sword. It was a good game. We're dead. <laughs> Murdered. Bum bum. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Straight up, like, Will 34. Oh, it's Leon. How's it going? The Wulu is dead. Zacian ate it. It's too late. It had a. It, it fought very strongly. That's why Zacian's ear is gone. It happens to be a level 80 Wulu. It was not easy to kill. This is like that one Pokemon movie where they find Entei in the forest. I just remember the Pokemon movie where Entei freaking steals Ash's mom or something. Yeah, that Wooloo is dead. <laughs> Your pants with directions? Okay. It's literally like just like you go straight from their house and you get there. It, it takes like two minutes. It would literally just be like me walking down the street, walking Daisy or whatever. Like, that's how far away this forest is from their house. Woo, look out! Charizard's right there! Oh no, it's wearing ear airpods, it can't hear us! Oh jeez, oh fuck, oh my god. Shield Legendary looks dumb, not gonna lie. Honestly, yeah, Zamazenta looks stupid as heck. I like Zacian, though. I kind of like Zacian, it's alright. I like how they always use Fainted in instead of, like, Passed Out or whatever. <sighs> we did, like, absolutely nothing. Zacian looks like your dog. Well, I guess you know what you're gonna name your, your Zacian when you get one. Okay, can you stop, like, talking about your legend? Okay, he literally didn't get mad at all. Like, he had a smile on his face, like, the entire time he was talking to us. Okay, can I go out this other very dangerous gate? <laughs> oh, that's the same one, actually. Dude, it's literally right outside of my house. What the heck? You're 
gonna name her Zacian Mean Beam. I like that. Hello, Mother. Well, now isn't Score Bunny just a sweetheart? And yes, I've heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Oh. Well, hey, I'm glad I came back to talk to you then. I like how my mom is probably going to have the same dialogue for, like, most of the rest of the game. Also, um, shouldn't I get a free Meowth since I bought the game, like, really early? I actually pre-purchased it, so where's my Meowth? That took a while. Yes. Yes. <laughs> nice. Really being. <laughs> yeah, boy. What if it's like level 30 or something? <laughs> I'm actually curious. Aw, oh, it's, it's level, level 5. That makes sense. I've actually, like, never used a Meowth on my team before. I really appreciate how the scale of the world is, like, more realistic in this game. Everything is actually, like, pretty decently sized. I like this song. Really? Frick you. More reason to hate Lulu. Yeah, I'll wake them up. Eh, whatever. Oh yes, I can see the Pokemon in the overworld now. I very much appreciate that. So I'm gonna try to complete the Pokedex, so I will catch like every Pokemon that I have not already caught. Oops. And might as well kill it. Give me money. Wouldn't your Meowth not pay attention to you anyway if it was level 30? Yeah, you're right. This game actually does look pretty nice. I think people were way too hard on it for its visuals. Do I get money? Yes! Money. Profit. If Pokemon were real, I'd actually just go around beating every Pokemon up with Payday all day. I'm trying to make sure like I don't accidentally come across a shiny before I've even like bought any Pokeballs. Is this Leon's Charizard, like, actually just sitting out here? Can I- why can I not talk to these people? Okay, but you can actually just see it from the house. I like the design of this place. Thou wark. It's a Yamper. Yep. <laughs> I kinda like Yamper. It's alright. 
Apparently it's like Toby Fox's favorite Pokemon. I don't know if you guys already know, but uh, Toby Fox did compose like one song for this game, but apparently you don't hear it until after you've uh, reached the end credit credits. It's like a post-game thing. And it's just one battle, battle song. Yeah, Leon's like kind of a bad brother. <laughs> She's hot. Wood for it. <laughs> is that all you like? Is that all you see in women? Uh, honestly, though. Why doesn't her yamper evolve then? Or does it evolve? The song he composed is a bop though, I agree. It's better than most of the songs in Undertale, but definitely not like better than the best ones. this song. So I already had a freaking Rotom in my phone? Why didn't I use it to battle? I have a, I have a freaking Pokemon. What do you see in women cooking, right? That, that's all they're good for, huh? <laughs> Y'all have had like 20 years to research Pokemon, what's taking so long? Sure is a lot of Charizard favoritism in this game. Bulbasaur will have his time though. Yeah, Leon's like a little bit of a, of a jerk, and he's also not like he could be better to Sonya. Oh, oh, this guy's mansplaining. <laughs> Poor Bulbasaur. Uh, spoilers, but he's actually one of the Pokemon that's in the game's data. And he was he's already been hacked into the game by some people, and he's, like, totally in the game. He just, like, isn't obtainable at all, and he's not in the Pokedex. Dude, Leon gets, like, loads of pussy. <laughs> oh, this is the railway place, isn't it? <laughs> just straight up just sat next to this guy. Can I not buy Pokeballs here? Lame. Leon has no time for Sonya. He gets every girl. Bet you've never been inside one. Like, what, does, does your character actually just spend, like, their entire life in their house, in, like, the small area outside of it? Is that basically the Galarian form of Rotom? Wait, this isn't Google? <laughs> How much girls does Leon get in a day?
I do like how you can skip a lot of tutorials in this game. That's something I read in reviews that it's pretty good about. I feel like they could have made that animation a little bit quicker for how often you're going to have to do that. Oh yeah, and I'm definitely happy to have Pokemon boxes back. I was kind of missing them in Pokemon Let's Go, just having all your Pokemon just like haphazardly scattered. I'm funny. <laughs> it even allowed it. All right. I need Pokeballs. Can I still not buy them? Really? Wow, okay. Do I not have any even? What the heck? Oh, I do have some. You hear my dog? Yeah. It's only Daisy in here. Uh, Cody's sleeping in the living room right now. He was trying to sleep in here before I started streaming, but I like turned the light on and I was setting up the stream. And he was like, nope, I'm going in the living room. <laughs> he doesn't have to sleep in the grate, he just sleeps on the floor. And he actually has a dog bed and he doesn't freaking sleep in it half the time. Well, if I can't buy Pokeballs, I might as well freaking buy clothes. Okay, I like the blue one. I actually have like a little bit too much fun customizing the characters. Yeah, I love are stupid. Oh wait, can I take the hat off? Nice. Can you get your hair cut in this one? Yeah, um, but I'm not sure if you can do it here. At least my char character looks like somewhat different now. Hey, okay, I forgot to look at shoes. Can I just not wear a backpack? Wow, these are actually almost all the same hat. Why are there more options here? Oh, the other ones were the clothes I already had, I see. Ooh, come on. It's actually a really cool shirt. Oh, it's so expensive though. Alright, I like the shuffle one. Oh, that's expensive. And who cares? Like, what's the point of leggings anyway? Okay, I know I'm spending like way too much time here, but I'm curious now. No? Weird. 
Do they have like any good hats here? Nope. Okay, I do want a new backpack. There, my character is very cool now. I already got rid of my mom's old backpack. Might as well freaking buy clothes if I can't buy Pokeballs. Yeah, honestly, the way they build up Leon in this, in this game is going to make it all the more satisfying to beat him. So that, that at least gives me like an, an, a drive to beat the game already. You're not going to continue? So are these like, is this Sonya's home? Or what? It's kind of weird like how much they're talking about it. And Leon too. I do like the sound theme. <laughs> wow, the way he was running. <laughs> also hot. <laughs> Skip this. Going real slow through those menus, Leon. Okay, nice job, you threw a Pokeball. I think anybody could do that. Oh, cool. Why would his, like, why would running make the, that sound if he was, like, running in the grass or on this dirt? Like, I don't get it. <sighs> Best are, better, better, uh, frick, I can't talk. Guess I'd better catch one of everything. Also, per one. I could have, like, a fully, like, cat theme team if I wanted to. What is a naked? Kinda of surprised I haven't seen a bug type Pokemon yet.
If this doesn't catch it, I'm kind of toast. No, come on. Power trip? Well, oh, I'm alive. Nice. Might as well take that opportunity to heal. Guess I probably should try not to waste my Pokeballs too much. Coochie getting scratched. I'll say, yo, Falcon, what's up? You better stay in that dang Pokeball. Okay, thank you. This thing evolves into Corviknight. I kind of doubt it. Ooh, what's this? Oh, finally a bug. No, that's not a bug type. Catch them all? Yeah, I'm gonna try to. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this design, though. I'm gonna catch everything, though. <laughs> the one benefit to this game having a really small Pokedex is that it won't be as hard to complete it. Um, I mean, it's pretty good so far. I mean, I'm only like 30 minutes in, so it's pretty run-of-the-mill for a Pokemon game. Uh, I mean, it's fun. I mean, I've, I've never not enjoyed a Pokemon game, to be honest, so... Definitely not using that on my team. Oh yeah, I know exactly what that thing evolves into. You've already seen it. It wasn't even like a leaked Pokemon. Are there any other Pokemon here I haven't caught yet? Oh yeah, the squirrel. The stupid freaking squirrel thing. Oh! Oh, finally a bug, a bug type. <laughs> and it looks like an old guy with glasses. I wonder if this will uh, one hit KO it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was wondering where the Route 1 bug types were at. I'll definitely try to use uh, Caterpie on my team, because I like Gigamax uh, Butterfree. Actually, I don't know. Should I have two bug types? Because I'm definitely using uh, Jolted. It was like my M most valuable Pokemon during my Ultra Sun and Moon playthrough. So I kind of want to use it again. Alright, now I think all I need from this route is the uh, stupid fat squirrel beetoo flipping thing. And get out of here. You ain't worth my time. I'm a little sad I let Meowth faint, but oh well. Oh, it's a trainer. This game does look pretty nice, though. Like, you can see pretty far off into the distance and stuff. Is someone playing bongos in your house? Does it sound like that? <laughs> I like how extra this battle transition is. Oh, I'm gonna kill that thing. Best believe. I don't know if Baneeri is in this game, but if I can get one, I'll use it. Then I could have like a rabbit themed Pokemon team. <laughs> Of 
course, maximum strategy, you just spam your uh, most powerful stab move. Okay, now I'm curious. I want to like hear the stream. It might just be because I'm like thumping my foot on the floor, but I don't know. Oh, I know exactly what it is. It's the freaking microphone sitting on top of my desktop. Here, I actually know what to do about that. I will put it up here, and now it should be better. There. Let me know. I might be a little bit louder too, because it's closer to my face. It's always funny, me, funny to me when uh, youngster trainers get mad at you for beating them. Just because, like, they expected you to be weaker than you were. Alright, I gotta remember, catch it, don't freaking knock it out. You want a Pokemon game where you play as Team Rocket? <laughs> ASMR, Alan tests his microphone. Oh shoot, what move was that? Was that just Bite? It kind of looked like Fire Fang or something. Oh yeah, it's just bite. Alright, I probably should make measures to avoid him knocking me out. Oh wait, shoot. Oh yeah, yeah, Perloin is a dark type, so it'll be fine if he hits me with bite. Kinda thought it was a psychic type for like a split second, but nah. Could probably tank at least two more of those, as long as they're not critical hits. Wow, my Pokemon are actually getting kind of messed up by the root worn mons. Oops, I was button mashing. I do like how you have the option to add a Pokemon to your party that you just caught. It's a little bit of a drag to have to go all the way to the PC to do it every time. Um, that was a feature I was really glad they added. I'm pretty sure in X and Y. Freaking getting an EXP for uh, catching a Pokemon. Oh, I, I like this one. Might actually use it. If you get this game, you really want to try a Nuzlocke. My, my Meowth would actually already be dead if I were doing a Nuzlocke. That's crazy. Uh, the cool thing about the Switch is that you can actually play Pokemon games with multiple user files, so if you wanted to do a Nuzlocke, you could do it on a different user file. And so it wouldn't even be like throwing away your main Pokemon when they die. And you could do it separate from your main playthrough too, which you, which is cool. OMG, it's emo bit. Oh yeah, speaking of bit, I kind of miss him already. It kind of sucks that he uh, probably won't be online for quite a long time. Seems like his parents like grounded him from the internet or something. Oh yeah, I probably shouldn't have tried to hit it with Ember. It seems like a fire type. Beat up. I forgot that was straight up a move. Actually, that'll be really useful to have. I forgot that move even existed, but that'll be really useful to have because I have six Pokemon on my team. So I might like keep that move. Yeah, beat up does, uh, it hits every time, it hits once for every Pokemon in your party. So it can hit up to six times. What should I call this? I guess I'll reference both the browser and uh, Fox's freaking up B and Smash. 
And now I can get rid of that stupid freaking dumb looking turtle thing that I don't like at all. Oh yeah, it does kind of suck that you can like see the textures on stuff, like the name it bit. Oh man, I should have. I mean, I can change it later. It is a girl, so... Maybe a little bit not accurate. Do I have a revive? Nope, just potions. I can't wait to spam beat up against like every wild Pokemon now. Yeah, I'm just gonna test it on this guy. Unless it's a shiny, no it isn't. I wouldn't even like recognize it immediately if it were a shiny. Oh, it's a dark type move? I didn't know that. Oh, but the individual hits are so weak, I didn't know that. They're not too bad if you get critical hits. It's probably like 5 freaking power. Oh, and it only hit 5 times? What? Can you still do online battles? Yeah, of course. This Pokemon game- this game has like every standard feature that every Pokemon game has had. Aside from having every previous Pokemon from previous games. Okay, wait, is this Pokemon actually a fire type? Because I'll Aw, oh, it's a dark type. I feel kind of silly calling it Firefox. Oh well, who cares. Also, why is its attack so freaking weak? I like how it's just rubbing the ground with its tail. Oh, I'm guessing its tail is like a sack. That it can store things in? That's interesting. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to battle you guys. I was hoping Austin would still be here. And like, since he's playing the game right now. Aw. Uh, I'm already getting knocked out. This thing has sucky attack. Like, it wasn't doing any damage at all. I hate to just spam my starter Pokemon though, I definitely do want other Pokemon I can rely on. But I guess this early on I'm not gonna like, find any Pokemon I really wanna keep up throughout my journey. In Ultra Sun and Moon I actually got rid of my starter pretty early on, just left it in the PC. I think I used a Charmander instead of my starter. Oh you're still here? Uh, where are you right now? Cause I'd kind of like to already test a uh, battling out. You've been DMing me on Discord, sorry about that. Yeah, I haven't been paying attention to my phone at all. Oh, the Gigamax Butterfree. We have to fight after the first gym? Alright. Hopefully we're pretty close to that, because I want to do that tonight. Jeez, my team is already messed up. Oh, it's on Route 2? Alright, so it shouldn't take too long to get there. I don't remember whether Nessa is the first gym leader. What type is this thing? It looks like a water type, but it might be a bug type, honestly. Oh, it's a water type. I was right. Squirtle ripoff. Hot, but it's ugly. We can do it now if you want. Yeah, I'd be fine by that. I shouldn't have to go to the Pokemon Center. Get out of here. Stupid ugly turtle thing. Yeah, we can try battling now if you want. I want to see like how it works. Like how easy it is to get to. Aw, she cute. I mean, you're cute at least. <laughs> I'm like keeping a lookout for shiny Pokemon. Alright, let's see here. Can I access it yet? Oh, yeah, I can't access it yet. I probably have to go to the lab first. If you lost a hop, you're definitely gonna lose to me. Oh, that's a new one. Oh no, never mind. I just forgot its name already. It's gonna be hard for me to freaking remember these uh, Gen 8 Pokemon. Especially the really the designs I really don't like. 
Some of these so far have been even worse than like my least favorite Gen 7 Pokemon. Although I do really like Scorbunny, so... Oh, you're fighting the first trainer now? Yeah, I'm a little bit further than you anyway. Let's just wait until the first gen. I'll probably stream for like another hour or two at least, so if you like if you don't mind staying up that late. But if you're if you don't, it's fine. I'll just be like way further than you. <laughs> but you know, also when we battle it'll like probably level all of, our, all of our Pokemon to 50 if we want to, so not that big of a deal. Aw, poor guy. <laughs> when you go when you lose round one in a Smash tournament. Oh, is that just a bunch of freaking ugly squirrels in the grass? Okay, what was that sparkle X I saw? I really hope that wasn't a shiny squirrel thing. Cause then I'd be so <gasps> Zigzagoon! Yes! I like Galarian Zigzagoon. I'm definitely using it. Hopefully this doesn't knock it out. I'm gonna name it after my dog. I guess I could do a Yamper and do that, but I don't wanna. Actually, never mind. It becomes like a weird furry thing. I'm not gonna name it after my dog. He gave me 420 money. I didn't even notice that. That's great. You, can, you can't see shinies in the overworld? What? You couldn't freaking Let's Go. How are you certain? Because you, you could in, in Pokemon Let's Go. That sucks, if that's true. Because uh, that, that made shiny hunting so much easier in Pokemon Let's Go. Here, I'll name this Bit. In remembrance of Bit, he was grounded from all of his electronics. Rest in peace. That's what you heard, but you don't know? I'd be surprised. Also, I've heard the shiny rates are like super, super high in this game. Like, they're very common compared to other games. Like, even, even more common than in Pokemon Let's Go. But also, that's just stuff I've seen on Twitter, so I'm not sure how true it is. Well, I know there's gonna be a battle here. Also, this lake does look really nice. Aw, oh, I can't freaking... Wait a minute, what? Oh, I can fish already? No way. Let's go. Ah, oh, Magikarp! Why am I excited for Magikarp? <laughs> That moment when you're, like, so mixed about Galarian Pokémon that you're excited to see Magikarp. Types furry immediately deletes and puts bit. <laughs> I really hate how like demeaning Magikarp Pokedex descriptions are. Okay, maybe I'll just name Pokemon after some of my friends. <laughs> Mad Mad will make more sense once it's a Gyarados. Co canned Coochie?
Let's see if I can get any other water Pokemon. It's probably just gonna be Magic Heart. I'll name the next Pokemon after you, Falcon. Or I could just rename the bird thing I caught. But I'm not gonna use that. <laughs> Already took it out of my party. Oh, I can actually see Pokemon in the water. Aw, oh, just another magic card. I'll try one more time. Might as well murder it, I guess. Can't fight back anyway. That's what you do, right? <laughs> Definitely very morally ex uh, very very morally acceptable to murder helpless fish for no reason. You are but food for my Pokemon. Oh yeah, poor Meowth not getting any experience because it got knocked out. I see Pokemon over there. Both Pokemon I don't recognize right now. And another magic art. Actually, it might actually be worth uh, shiny hunting magic art. But nah, I'm not gonna start doing that yet. Why does she treat Sonya like such a failure? It's like how your parents treat you. Uh, that's, that's not funny. <laughs> Freaking hot, just like taking a crap. Aw, oh, I'm sad I can't use Meowth. He's too low level now. Okay, great. Second battle with Hop. They could have just saved the battle for now. Like, why, why do I have to battle them twice? Ooh. I kind of like how this Pokeball is glowing. Ah, uh, couldn't they have made it look like a Great Ball in the overworld, though? It's not that hard. Hop's going super sane. Jeez, Hop, what a bitch. He's so whiny. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna send me out first out, aren't I? I'm kinda screwed. Please shut up about your legends. Let me guess, he has about four Pokemon now. Oh, three. Okay. Easy clap. Oh my gosh, why are, <laughs> why are Leon and the Professor 2D models? Come on. They're 2D! Oh, they are animated, though. Will this do any damage now? Probably not. Why is this move so weak? Oh, okay, so if I had like a- if I had anything that like increased my 
freaking critical hit rate, this move would actually be pretty okay. Because it's basically a multi-hit move that can guarantee hitting at least five times. Oh, it hit six? Okay, apparently I did not know how beat up worked as well as I thought I did. Can Coochie. What if I could already get Gigantamax Meow? That'd be great. Probably will be able to pretty early on. I'm betting, like, Gigantamaxing starts with your starter Pokémon or something. I'm glad Meowth has Slash. It's a pretty high damage move. Probably the best one I have on any of my Pokémon right now. Give me money. I'm gonna freaking steal all of Pop's lunch money. Meowth is, like, the best Pokémon for bullying, like, poor... Weak children. I kind of wish Hop had picked uh, Sobble instead. Jeez, Hop really did not grind enough. Okay, that did like no damage. What the heck? I'm getting, like, loads of critical hits. What's going on? I mean, I could win without them, but... Why would I freaking learn Scratch when I have Slash? It's a pretty good move for boosting your attack stat, I believe. I think it, like, sharply raises your attack stat or something. Okay, I kind of hate the way his mouth moves. It, it really bothers me. Imagine if Pop had a shiny Pokemon. <laughs> Coochie used Payday, isn't that just prostitution? Basically. I do wish the animations were more like Pokemon Coliseum in games like that, and like Battle Revolution. Like, I get they'd be slower, but like, at the same time... Give me your lunch money. I'm shaking off of all of his money. I'm, I'm emptying his pockets right now. I think Gyarados evolves at like level 26 or something, so... Or Magikarp does, so it might actually be worth just having a Magikarp on my team until I can evolve it. Gutted that I lost, but I'd expect nothing less from my rival, the way he said that. I guess gutted makes sense as a word for, like, being angry or upset. I mean, Pokeball throwing probably really only matters when it comes to catching Pokémon, not battling. I basically just did the Poke Pokémon battle equivalent of three-stalking this guy. And I basically styled on him with all those critical hits and payday, forcing him to give me more money. Wow, I sure do love when I hold my hand out and a man uh, several feet away holds his hand out and I grab an invisible object. Hop is going to catch your Pokémon. Oh, I wonder what happens if you throw a Pokéball at your opponent's Pokémon in this game. Like, I'd like to see the animation for it and what it says. I haven't tried that in a long time in a game. I used to do it sometimes when I was a little kid in Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. I would just like, I want this Pokemon, throws the Pokeball at it, and it just bounces off. And then it says, don't be a thief, or something like that. It'd be kind of interesting if they added like new, like different Pokeball throwing animations. They probably do have that in this game since they had it in Sun and Moon. Did something freaking fall? Nah. I don't know. Should I bully hop? Um. 
questionable. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. A stone found in the Galar region with a mysterious power. It said your dreams come true if you find one. Really? Okay. Okay, okay. I see. Alright. Okay, so... I didn't get the item that lets me freaking Dynamax. Just by- I, I didn't get it from someone, it fell from the sky. Out by chance. O okay. Okay. What is this, like, freaking Bakugan? I'm pretty sure that's how Bakugan worked. Like, all the freaking cards and shit, like, just fell from the sky. Sell it, honestly. How are they a resource from the Gal Galar region if they fell from the sky? Sell it, no balls. <laughs> yeah, who needs g g g uh, Dynamaxing anyway? I keep want to wanting to call it uh, Gigantamaxing, but that's only for like Pokemon that have specific forms. Why do we have to wait till tomorrow? Okay, what is Daisy doing? Yo, okay. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna check on Daisy really quick. She's making funny noises. You go, baby, Daisy. Oh, Cody's here. I forgot Cody was in here. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Sorry, Cody. I just freaking woke him up. I'm a jerk. Now he's probably gonna come and bother me. He likes to st stick his head in between, like, the arm of the chair, of my computer chair, so I can, like, pet him. It's cute, but also mildly annoying, because he does it all the time. <sighs> luckily, like, he does, like, chew things, but luckily he hasn't tried to, like, chew my wires yet. So. What breed is Cody? He's an Alaskan Malamute and uh, German Shepherd mix. So he's like really cute and fuzzy. You can see pictures of him on my Twitter. He's also a very well behaved dog. He's like six years old and he's already been trained. He's not. He, he is housebroken, unlike Daisy. So he kind of lets me know when he has to use the restroom. Yeah, he was at the shelter. Okay, nice! I can do communication now. Ycom offers many ways to connect with other players. You'd be welcome to swap Pokemon, take part in Pokemon battles, and more. There's never a shortage of things to do. When stamps arrive in Ycom, when you're in your adventure, it means that other trainers are looking around and looking for someone to connect with. Push the button to see who's around. Normally, you can use Ycom to connect with people nearby, but if you press the plus button to connect to the internet, you'll be able to connect with people all around the world. Select a stamp that shows the silhouette of a Pokemon on it, and you'll be able to team up with your fellow pet trainers to battle Pokemon. Okay. Cool. Oh, Wonder Trade. Should I start doing that already? I could catch another one of these. Ah, oh, I feel bad for whoever's gonna get it. What if I get like an uh, like a late game Pokemon? <laughs> I doubt very many people are that far yet, anyway. Oh, oh, did I- I was worried I cancelled it for a second. Squee! That's kinda cute. Do what plants would want instead of what you want. If you keep that in mind, plants will grow. Interesting. 
What if the plant wants you to commit some, like, heinous deed? Alan, let's battle. Are you ready? Are you, like, where you need to be? Here, let me just, uh, finish this freaking wonder tree first. I wonder why it's taking so long. I guess no one's freaking playing. Oh, you know what? I know. plus to connect to the internet. You just got the rock? Alright. The link code is 258, uh, 25, 2589. <sighs> Alright, 2589. I'll put it in the, in the chat so you don't forget. It's the link code. You, you wish you still had two uh, monitors so you could uh, play Minecraft and watch my stream? It's fine if you want to do the other thing. I'm just like sorting through all of Sonya's stuff. What if you could just like steal her clothes? I didn't even listen to what she was saying. No wonder I was like surprised and I realized I could use online. I'm a little bit irritated with like the stuff showing up on the side of the screen, but... Sor Sir Fultrix. <laughs> I like the new sound it makes when you walk into a wall. It actually sounds like you're banging into something, so I can be like I'm just banging my head up against the wall. Name me after a Yamper? Alright, I'll, I'll name my first Yamper Falcon. It won't make sense to anybody who doesn't know you, but it's fine. I might not use it on my team, though, but I will do it. Uh, just click Y. To open up the menu. Yeah, click Y and go to, um, Link Battle. And then, um, do the code thing and input the same code, and we should, um, be in the same room. Oh, sick! Ooh, what's this? Ooh, nice! That's pretty cool. That's pretty good! Daisy, quit crying. Probably just keeping Daisy awake with all my talking. She gets upset at me. But the weather is like nasty out there, so I don't really want to put her outside.
Oh, I actually can see like the wrinkles on her shirt. That's pretty cool. I do like like I do like the lighting engine for this game. It's pretty nice. And the textures really aren't that bad. They're like a little bit low res, but pretty fine for a Switch game. What's taking you so long, Austin? <clears throat> okay, you put it in? Alright. It should, like, tell me. Unless I just- unless I told you the wrong code. Are you Voidwalker? Under single battles, right? Yeah. Maybe it's been too long. If you did the same code, I can probably still get in. I kind of don't like how the request system works. Oh, your nest? Yeah, that's what I figured. I feel like the whole process is like slowed down by this uh, feature. If you're searching with the same code, shouldn't we have found each other by now? I wonder what's taking so long. Did you install a day one patch? Maybe I need that first. Ooh, can I join in on a max raid battle right now? Wow, I can actually. I can get a Honage right now if I want, I guess. Okay, I'm just curious. Alright, I, I do want to try to get a Honage if I can. <laughs> okay, it looks like I can use two Pokemon. Alright, we'll, we'll battle in a minute. We'll figure it out. You're gonna save and then go back in? Alright. I do want to try to catch this Honage. Look at that- oh, okay, that was loud. Look at that sword boy. Look at him go. Oh, I should have used Meowth, because it can be Gigantamax. Max. Whoops. At least we have two fire types, or three fire types actually. Whoa. Wait, were we supposed to throw the Pokeball this early? Oh no no, I get it. Was that really the Pokemon we should have Gigantamaxed? Oh, yeah, because it's a ghost type. That will be super effective. But so will Honage's moves on Pumpkin, Pumpkin whatever.
Oh, that's gonna be a one shot. No? Max moves are basically just Z moves. Oh, nice, I burned it. We should be able to knock it out this turn easy. I think you're supposed to knock it out even if you want to catch it. Wow, it just straight up exploded. Oh, I wish I had better Pokeballs. Oh, I do! I have a Great Ball! I hope I don't- I, I hope I get one more than one attempt, because I should've used the Great Ball. Oh well. <laughs> get in there. I like how there's like no logical explanation for me being able to do this right now. Ah! I got it, didn't I? Nice. I'm actually totally going to use that on my team through the whole game. I love Honage, actually. I like object-based Pokémon, I don't know why. I'll call it Falchion reference, uh, freaking Marth's and Lucina's sword. Or, yeah, actually. What level is it, I wonder? Oh, it's... I don't know, I can't see from here. I'm gonna get rid of Bur Burb. Even though it was like my second highest level Pokemon. Oh, Falchion is level 20, what the heck? Okay. <laughs> Honage is the real Sword and Shield, right? I thought it would be silly if, this, if uh, it wasn't in this game. Versus? Maybe I, we can battle from here. What? Oh, I think this is where we want to battle. Okay. gonna be thrown like straight up into a battle. I'm battling Gohan. Probably use Gigant to max me out if I can. Oh this guy has a pretty early game team too. It should be pretty balanced. Honage might give me an advantage actually. I don't know if he has anything good against it. Let's see if I can win my first battle. I like how I'm just completely ignoring the story right now for like every other thing you can do. Why would you name your Yapper Bowser? There's my little swordy boy. Wow, he has a really interesting moveset too. Oh, no, no, no. Don't want to Dynamax him. Uh, Yamper is a electric type. I'll just use a ghost type move since it'll have a type boost. What? What? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Okay. You're gonna be waiting. All right. That was like really anticlimactic. Did you uh, put in the same code? Cause I don't. I don't think we can battle through here. Hopefully it works this time. Let me save. I'm really happy to have Honin, she's cool. I'm like glad to have him so early too. It's kind of interesting that you can catch like a whole- like any Gigantamax Pokemon right at the beginning. That is kind of OP. Okay, so this is, did you do the same code? Two, five, eight, nine. Hopefully you did. Yeah, try it now. Alright. You think you did it right? Yeah, I really hope it isn't just like retarded. 
Okay, I've got like a POW symbol now on the Y. I wonder what that means. I think that means my battle- oh! Okay, cool! Okay, it worked! Nice. I am a little alarmed at like how long it took. Also, good taste. Uh, uh. Yeah, at least we can battle. Hopefully my my Honage isn't too overpowered for you, with its very varied moveset. And hopefully you have Gigantamax Meowth already, because I'm totally going to use that. Oh, we use our entire parties? I like how the game just like gives you all this really overpowered stuff right at the beginning. <laughs> oh cool, I'm glad I can pick the order of my Pokémon. I was worried I'd be sending Firefox out first. Do I enter more? Yeah, I'll just go ahead and use uh, all six. Not that freaking Mad Mad is going to be of much use right now. All right, Sobble. This will be fun. Oh, he has Pokemon Sword as well. That's interesting. You can actually see in like the card, unless it just shows that symbol for everyone. Ah, oh, it's Lulu. Frick it up. Time to shear the sheep. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna go with- Oh! Oh! Dang it! I just freaking used a ghost-type move on a normal type. I'm a genius. <laughs> oh no! This is actually bad. Oh. It did, like, nothing. I'm lucky. Despite being super effective? The heck? That actually should have, like, at least taken half of my HP. Oh, but now he can spam it. Shoot, what have I done? What have I done? No. Oh, and it, it actually does, like, no damage. Alright, this battle's gonna be harder than I thought. I definitely underestimated Austin. I thought, I, I thought uh, I'd be kind of overpowered. Oh, good, okay. So I might be smart to use Fury Cutter. Because it'll definitely do way more damage to Lulu than his copycat will do to me. And I don't I don't think Lulu has any any move other than copycat that can hit me right now. That's interesting, Lulu having copycat already? That's like kind of interesting. Like you could go up against a, a, someone who's actually like some like part of the way through the game and just spam like copycat and actually get decent moves. At least now I can finally use a type boosted move. I'm actually having a ton of fun with this game so far. <laughs> I'm, I'm like not regretting- like I'm super glad I bought it, basically. Like even just being able to battle with friends kind of makes it worth it. In any game where I can build a Pokemon team, it's gonna be fun. He's certainly taking advantage of his ability to switch Pokemon. Oh, and that's a dark type. It has an advantage, doesn't it? I don't think uh, Honich has anything- Oh, yeah, Fury Cutter. Never mind. Ooh, this might hurt. If he gets a critical hit, it's gonna hurt. Let's see if he gets the same luck that I've been getting. I mean, that did hurt, but, like, not as much as I expected. Woo! At least he's faster than me.
Yeah, my opponent is going to be tough for him to get through. I think this might do it, though. Oh, the crowd actually cheers more when you get a critical hit. Will this do it? Yeah, it's going to do it. Okay, Honage was hard, was hard for him to get through. It dealt a lot of damage to his team. Falchion, no. Okay, now what happens if I use Gigantamax me- Uh, Gi- yeah. Gigantamax me out? Can I? Here, I'll turn the volume down on my TV a little bit. That should help. <laughs> I love how tall freaking me out is. Max darkness. Interesting. <clears throat> Oh, here we go. That was very flashy. Surprising. Didn't know it had it, it had that effect. That's like the same animation. Oh yeah, I forgot that was temporary. Look at that big goofy balloon. Oh shoot, I'm dead. Good night. <laughs> Goodbye. GG. <laughs> Coochie, no. <laughs> Alright, um. I'll just finish him off with quick attack. Look at my tiny little score bunny against this massive freaking Sobble. Never mind. Oh, he has a chew door. Dang water type. Mm -hmm. 
Oh jeez. Run. I gotta run. Where's that a yamper? Do I have tackle? Nope. I have an idea. This is cheap, but... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's a bug type. Sand. <laughs> oh shoot, that's actually gonna hit, isn't it? Aw, oh, seriously, it's not gonna miss. That's annoying. Oh man, <laughs> not good. I can do that too, you know. <laughs> We're just gonna keep switching our Pokemon in and out. <laughs> I'm actually really glad he's not a fire type. This Tootle is giving me a lot of trouble. Yeah, that might be it. Yeah, I don't think Quick Attack will do it. Yeah, I'm toast. GG. <laughs> Might as well. Oh, he still had four Pokemon left. GG. We should rematch again after the first gym. Yeah, I should have got Gigantamax Tonage. Probably could have sweeped at least two of your Pokemon.
it came out today, Tangela. <laughs> Bought it on the eShop. Oh yeah, I probably shouldn't use a level 20 Pokemon. Or should I? Oh, Yamper! I could have freaking used that. Yeah, that was fun. If only I had Yamper before we battled. Sorry, I have to be so quiet. I don't want to bother my mom again. Oh, I can't even hit Yamper. It would die. I hope you disabled autosave. Uh, no, not yet. I don't see any reason to, at least not yet. Definitely a, th a few things I could have done better in that fight, like Gigantamaxing or Gigamaxing uh, Falchion. Well, I'm glad you don't mind. And I don't like Firefox that much. Oh, another Yanker. Oh, I haven't even, like, paid attention to your character. <laughs> Should be able to one-shot it with Shadow Sneak, at least. At least Honage is gonna make grinding really er er easy early on. Finally. Dang, I should have waited just like a little bit before we battled. <laughs> I would already be like much harder to beat. <laughs> oh well, might as well wait till after the first gym. Oh. The stupid frick. Shootle. Like, took out like three of my Pokemon. Guess it has really high defense. Oh, I like that animation. It's pretty cool. Yeah, grinding is really easy now. I'm guessing Falchion still listens to me because it's under level 30. What if they're like rare Pokemon you can only get through sneak encounters? I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Huh? Oh, I'm supposed to go back here. Oh, cool. What the f- 
fuck is a blip bug? It is a funny looking design. <clears throat> Kinda reminds me of Barry. Oh, cool. Yeah, it does look pretty weird. I think it's supposed to look like a guy with glasses. I mean, that was like yesterday, but, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, the curry thing. Why are one of the th side things on the um, user interface in Japanese? Because uh, Japanese players online. Basically the thing on the side is like the, the menu you get on the touch screen in Pokemon X and Y and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Oh yeah, I wouldn't be able to catch a high-level Pokémon yet. It doesn't let you catch Pokémon that are too high-level for you. I've already been playing for two hours. It's about how long I've been streaming too. So I can can I just camp here in this freaking train station? Oh, I guess it's just like Pokemon and me. Jeez, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> he actually freaking killed me. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead. This is very interesting. <laughs> Alan's camping in the void, what a nerd. Do I have enough ingredients to cook? I don't know if I'd eat that.
This game has one of the best starts, I actually agree. This reminds me of making coffins in um, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl for your concepts Pokemon. Except the star thing, yeah, I thought that was kind of dumb. Just a little bit too convenient. Oh no! I didn't realize the timing would be that weird. I think it's gonna be bad. <laughs> He's not even eating it. I mean, how would he? Interesting. Okay. <laughs> you can actually play fetch with your Pokemon. This is pretty great. Oh, I can't throw it very far. Oh, there we go. What a normie. <laughs> oh no, Meowth is gonna get it. No, Meowth stole it. <laughs> Score Bunny, no. <laughs> He's just standing over there. How would uh, Konich catch the ball? I don't think he could. Anyway, I'm gonna leave. That's really fun to play around with. And you actually get freaking experience for it, wow. That's crazy. I mean, not a bad thing, but just crazy. <sighs> Caught 12 Pokemon so far. I'm gonna sell Pokeballs yet. Thank you. There aren't any like game breaking glitches in this game. Cool, I get to explore the wild area. Alan doesn't put love into his food. Let's group in the wild area? Alright. Maybe we could do a Gigantamax raid. Ooh, I like this. I want the camera to move a little bit faster though. Let's see if I can fix that. I know, I save a lot. Oh, that's how it's, you would skip tutorials. But I don't want to do that. And it's fine. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say. You're gonna wait after that cutscene? Alright. 
Let's see how it works. Hopefully people on your friends list are prioritized. Make melon drop. Make lemon drop. Oh, interesting. I got a freaking can of beans. You would like that, Austin, wouldn't you? I wonder if people on your friends list are prioritized. That'd be cool. I'd like to like ha see anyone who's on my friends list running around in the wild area. Are we still added, or did I accidentally delete you? Oh yeah, yeah, we're added. I don't think we can can connect. Maybe not. Oh, I like how I do see people running in real time though. Oh, is that a bunnelby? Oh, you were following me? Alright, after this battle, I'll see if we can communicate. You're right next to me, that's funny. <laughs> it's like, I am right next to you. I am right behind you. Is this you? Yeah, I see you. I see your name. Oh, you're probably catching a Pokemon, aren't you? No, that's Brian. Do you get, like, something from everyone? Pre-cooked burger. To get something from everyone. Want to talk and call? Um, nah, I gotta be too quiet. Like, you said you were right next to me, but I don't see you. Ooh, it's Tyrogue. to teach Honage a uh, false swipe. Well, I guess talk to every trainer, it's kind of worth it. Metapod! I'm sorry, I'm like, I want to catch everything. <laughs> 